Hey, this is Kevin from Let Me Tech You, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over how to uh, access Amazon S3 over a VPC endpoint. Now, endpoints allow you to um, not have to use a NAT gateway when, say, you're trying to access S3 from your private subnet. And this is a lot more secure and um, cost effective because you don't have to incur charges going over your NAT gateway. And you won't have to worry about um, providing a way for your private um, subnets to be able to go out through the internet to access Amazon S3. So inside of our VPC here, I'm going to go ahead and actually create two VPCs, which actually one VPC I'm actually gonna get rid of this one here this one I was working on actually you know what? I keep that in there so let's create another VPC so what we want to do is go into VPC and more and at the bottom it does say VPC endpoints but we're not going to create that I'm going to go ahead and hit none then I'm going to hit up here at the top we're just going to go s3 VPC and then we just want one availability zone, one private and one public subnet. And we want no NAT gateway. And let's just hit create VPC. Now this is just an easy way that Amazon does to kind of script so you don't have to create the subnets, the route tables, and all that other stuff. But if you want to do all that stuff separately, you can. A uh, great thing about it is once you're actually done with the VPC, um, it's easier to kind of delete everything. So once we get those set up, um, we got everything pretty much set up on this part. We're going to go into our EC2 instance console, and we're going to create two instances. Um, we're going to create, as you can see here, we have a private and bastion host, so that's exactly what we're going to create. These were utilized for a different lab here. So what we're going to be doing here, as you can see from this uh, picture here, is we're going to be creating a pub. We have our public subnet and a private subnet. We're going to create an EC2 instance here and an Amazon EC2 instance here, uh, just a Linux instance, that the public subnet will have routes to be able to get out to the internet, and then our private subnet won't be able to access S3 through the internet, but it will utilize the v, uh, S3 VPC endpoint here. So now we're going to go ahead and launch instance, and I'm going to call this Bastion Host 2. Since we already have one that's called Bastion Host, I'm going to use Linux, t2.micro, which is our free tier um, Amazon Linux instance. And then for the key pair, if you don't already have one created, go ahead and create one. I already have one created. So if you do, don't, if you're, uh, we're going to use utilize PuTTY. So if you're using PuTTY, it's better to go ahead and download this PPK file. Put in a name and hit create key pair. If you don't do that, you won't be able to SSH into your instance there. So I'm going to go ahead and do VPC, VPN, and then under network settings, you want to just make sure that you're adding this into the VPC that you're going to be adding that VPC endpoint to. This first subnet, uh, let's get that out of here. So this first subnet, we're going to add this to the um, public since this is going to be the bastion host, this is going to be in the public subnet. We're going to auto assign a public IP to it because that's what we'll need to actually SSH into this instance here. We're going to create a new security group as well. So it's going to create bastion host security group. And don't worry about the description. Um, basically, we want to be able to SSH into this instance from anywhere. And then what we'll do is we will accept that and launch the instance. We'll go back and create another VPC ins or EC2 instance. And we'll call this private host 2. And in there, just same thing. What we want to do, key pair, we'll keep it the same. Same key pair. Uh, security group, we'll make a new one. Actually, we want to make sure we edit this, put it in the S3 VPC, 
and we want this in the private subnet. We're going to need to create a, we don't want a uh, public IP address on this one because we won't, uh, it won't have any internet access to the outside to be able to get to. So then this is going to be private host security group. And then in here, we're only going to allow SSH access from, we need to know our subnet for that public in, um, instance. So let's go in here, let's get this out of the way. So if we filter these, we see we have 10.0.0.0 slash 20 for our public subnet. So anything coming from 10.0.0.0 slash 20, you can skinny that down if you wanted to. We're just gonna have it wide open for this lab here. But once you get that set up, everything looks good. We're gonna go ahead and hit launch instance. So we're gonna hit view all instances. Now we got our instances created. One thing you will need too is an IAM role that's going to allow you to gain S3 access. So if you go to IAM here, open this up in a new tab, you're going to want to create a user or actually a role. So you got a role, and I have a role called Dev VPC Role SSM that's trusted by EC2 that. I utilize but what you would basically do is create a role and you want to use EC2 for the use uh, use case so basically this is going to allow EC2 instances to call services on our behalf you'll hit next you want to look for s3 hit enter and then select full access you're going to hit next there and then just give it a name. So, you know, S3 full access role. Then you go down and hit create role and that's it. And then what you'll do is go to your instance that you created the private uh, instance or the private host. Refresh this here. There we go. So private host two. We're going to go to action, security, modify IAM role. And then you want to choose the role that you created and hit update IAM role. So now that we got that set up, basically what we need to do now is set up our putty to be able to SSH into this host here, which is our bashing host in our public instance that has access to the internet. So if you if you have that key, what you want to do is you want to install a, a program called PAGint. Pageant, which you can find online, just Google that. And once you install it, you'll run that. And then you're going to right click here. You're going to right click in the bottom of your corner um, screen, which you may not be able to see on mine, but you just click the little up arrow, right click that, and click add key. And then click on that key that you downloaded. Now that key's added in there. So then we're going to open up Putty, not Putty Gen open up putty and then what we want to do is we want to go down to where it says SSH here and then we're going to go auth and we want to allow agent forwarding and this is what's going to allow us to forward a request um, through to the uh, internal host when we're trying to uh, use this uh, bastion host to access it or it'll hang we go back to session and then what we can do is go into connect here and what you want to do is take this where it says EC2 user, take all of this here, copy it, and then just paste it right in there and hit OK, hit open. Just go ahead and hit yes through that, and then it's going to log you in. Now what we want to do is we'll want to SSH into the private host using the SSH command here. So we'll go back to our EC2 instance console. We can grab the IP address of this host, which is 10.0.143.1.1.12. So basically we go SSH EC2 user, and this user is 
derived from when you hit connect, the username is, uh, is here, EC2 user, which is the default user. So open that back up. So EC2 dash user add, and then we can paste in our IP address and hit enter. I'm going to type in yes to add this to our known um, host file. And now we are in. So as you can see up here, we were on 10.0.13.36. Now we're on 10.0.143.112. And to test that we don't have any internet access, we can go a um, ping google.com. As you see, we have no access to the internet, but we have access to this host through our Bastion host. I'm going to kill that connection. And then just to show that we don't have any access to S3, we're going to go AWS S3 LS dash dash region US East and two. The region I get is the region that I have my, uh, S3 bucket that's so if you need to create an S3 bucket you want to go to S3 here and just go ahead and add a bucket in here just create a bucket we're just going to query the um, we're going to query the buckets we're not going to need to access anything so basically then we just go enter as you can see it hangs there as well so there's no access to S3 from this standpoint so to fix that Without having to give it internet access, we're going to go to the VPC console and we're going to go to endpoints. We're going to hit create endpoint and then we're just going to say S3 endpoint. We're going to give it a name. We're going to, it's an AWS service. In here, we're going to do S3 and we want the gateway uh, type. That way we can uh, set up in our route table to route to the uh, S3 service on this uh, gateway here, uh, gateway service. And then the VPC we want to associate this with is the S3 VPC that we created. And then we want to associate this with our private route table. And then we're just going to give it full access and then we're going to hit create endpoint. Now if we go to our route tables, we should be able to now see that we have a route for anything. Uh, let's see. Let's give it a refresh here. I might have added it to the wrong. Let me see, let's go back to our endpoint services here. Might have not have hit save, so let's just go ahead and create that again. So, we're actually creating an endpoint. Oh, so there it goes. Let's see why it's not. Let's go to route tables, S3 private one, USC's 2A. And let's click on manage route tables. Modify. Let's see what's, maybe we need to, let's refresh this page here. So let's go back to our route tables. And it should have added it in there by itself. It didn't, so. Let's just make sure we didn't get it in any other one. Yeah, let's see, maybe we need to, let's just add. So we can do prefix list, target, it's gonna be, let's see, it should be, Okay, just had to do a quick little refresh. So it looks like it added it in there. Um, so it looks like that is associated with this. So now our destination is this um, endpoint, which is the prefix list that it creates. 
And as you can see, under the, go back to the routes, target is this uh, S3 endpoint. So it's sending it to the S3 endpoint to get to the uh, S3 service. So now if we go back into our instance here, you can see now I can query my S3 buckets. And as you can see, Elastic Beanstalk US East 1, if I go into S3, I should be able to see that in there. Elastic Beanstalk US East 1. So essentially what we did now is instead of going over the internet gateway, which we wouldn't, wasn't able to, we were able to go through this VPC endpoint service and to prove that we still don't have access to the internet, I can go ping google.com and I still can't get out. So if I do you know, an exit, if I ping a google.com here, you can see I get pings out to the internet. So that's just a nice little secure way to kind of get S3 access and other services that you may utilize in Amazon without having to fully expose your subnet to the internet. Again, that's just one simple way to do that. Um, you know, if you have any other questions or comments in regards to this uh, tutorial or video, you can reach, down, uh, reach out below in the comments. I'll be sure to get back with you. You can also follow along on this uh, same tutorial on my blog, letmetechyou.com, which I do a walkthrough on how to set that up step by step here in this article here. Again, thanks for tuning in and hope to see you next time.